Let it fly. Butter all the air biscuits you want. Okay. Release all the barking spiders, the low flying ducks, all you want. Oh, right. You are protected. You are protected. There it's is a protected precedent. act. There is precedent. There's a case that sets precedent for that. Nice. That's well, where. Here. That's not where here we're in the at. US, though. World. No, 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 no. Somebody would probably cry. So, depending on who, I mean, you know, we know people that could hotbox you out in the open. Yep. And that's. I didn't think that was possible, but you know. Hey, I know people that can do that. Yep. Oh, man. Okay. So, we're going to fly from there. We're going to fly over to Florida. How's that sound? Florida. Florida. Hmm. Which part of Florida? Florida. Uh, it didn't say. All right. Because the individual in this story has not been formally... Like the whole the whole situation has not uh, been been uh, taken care of yet. It's still ongoing. Alrighty. All right. So a Florida man called police because he had paid for something and he never got it. So he wanted these people arrested. Hey, I paid you, fucker. You didn't give me what I wanted. Only problem is, he forgot what he was paying for was was not right. Okay. You see, he paid a group of people five hundred dollars for sex. Okay, I figured it was somewhere along the lines of drugs or sex. All right, and so. and the people never showed up, so he called and admitted that he had committed a crime by soliciting prostitution, and the people never showed up. Man, what is this world coming to? When you hire a hoe and she doesn't go, or he or yep. she, I guess, it, it, it doesn't necessarily. You said and he was at he was at a hotel. It was a he, and he bought paid a group of women. And because this guy's homeless, of course, if you have five hundred dollars and you're homeless, the only the first thing you're going to do is go get laid. Mm. Makes it makes sense to me. Well, uh, I guess I can see. I wonder if sex robots wouldn't have done that. So I, I can see the case for opening more of those. Yep. Or so we think. Wouldn't it be? Uh, you know, at this point in time, you should just start writing, writing the legislature, to start writing the paper out, and then that way we can take it to the Congress. <sighs> it's just. That's kind of where I'm at. All right, so we're going to fly from there. We're going to fly over to Europe. Okay. A luxury one-off, as in the only one that was ever made of its kind, Bugatti supercar, which is sold. Okay. Which is pretty neat. It's sold for a whopping... Okay, now, before I say this, I, I, I just want to emphasize... Do you ever wonder where your rent money come, is going to come from? Have you ever wondered where your food's coming from? Like, have you ever been poor? I want you're you to think to about the, this. You're talking the, to the working poor here. Right. Okay. I want everyone listening to, uh, to, to keep this in, in, in the frame of your mind. All right? You've been poor, struggled your whole life. And then you hear about a man... Buying one car, okay? One car. It's got four wheels and gets you from point A to point B. Just like your used 1995 Toyota Corolla that's out in the driveway. Does the same thing. He bought it for $19 million. $19 million. There you go. Wow. There you go. Dang, 19 man. million. Why not? Well, you know, it. It's a Bugatti, you know, come on. <laughs> Why not? Fuck it. I'd buy it. Yeah. 19 million. Well, smoke them if you got them, I guess. Jeez. I guess. Fuck me running, man. 
Jesus Christ, $19 million, and you probably could never drive it. Yeah, yeah think about that. $19 million. Well, what Hey, on? I mean, I don't know. I, I'd spend a lot on a car if I had that kind of money. I don't think no. I'd ever spend $19 million on a car, though. No. Actually, I'd, I'd have a nice car, but nobody would... It, it would not be one of those exotic vehicles or anything like that. You know, it, no, I couldn't. I couldn't even fit in one. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I'd be They're just not... like the Rock, just like the Rock. The Rock drives a pickup truck. Uh yeah, something comfortable. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'd be. I'd have a pickup truck. Yeah. So, wow. yep. Yeah, think about that for a little while. Have sweet right. dreams. Uh and then fi- our final piece of news, okay? I'm going to end it with this. Because this is a... Uh, hey, I used to live near Michigan, and that's where this takes place. Mm. B, it took place right outside of Detroit, and I, I used to live pretty close to... Easy- I was about an hour away. So I, I know the area. But just... Every now and then you read a story where you just have to go, yeah, now that's some fucking balls. That took some balls, right? Okay. This is a feel-good story. It really nice. is. I, 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 got the, I got the feel-goods when I read this. All right. So a woman was, was pulled over by a police officer for, for speeding. He gave her a ticket. She took the ticket. And as she was pulling away, she decided to fly the bird. Fly the bird right towards the officer. Fuck you, dude. I'm out. Now, all of us that have ever been pulled over have probably thought about doing this. All right. This lady did not do something so horribly bad. All right. We've thought about it. She just did it. All right. Right. Anyways, he pulls her over again. Gives her a speeding ticket, but even like the, the max offense. Mm-hmm. So, then he puts her in the back of a squad car and takes her to the jail. Because the the speed that he wrote her down for was a felony, and so she got to go to jail. Okay. Well, she gets out of jail. She's pissed off like the rest of us would. She decides to go to court with this. Hires a lawyer. They go to court. Okay. Michigan court <clears throat> has now stated, they came back and they stated that this woman's constitutional rights were violated. Violated. Okay. When the officer put her in the back of the car and gave her a, a higher speeding ticket, it was her right of free speech that this that was violated. She had a right to, to flip them off. Citing, okay. I'll go as far as to say the court was citing that the officer just needed to have thicker skin. So now this goes into another civil court. This lady could walk away with a whole chunk of money. Wow. Yeah, I could see that. Wow, that feels good. Feel good story of the day. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no, we can go out and flip the bird to every cop we see, right? Fuck you, uh, copper. You ain't going to catch me alive. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we live down in the Southwest where... <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, shoot us. <laughs> yeah, they'll just say we had a gun, and even if we didn't have one, when it's all said and done, there'll be a... We would there, have there, one. <laughs> there, 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 there will be one right there. You know how that goes. <laughs> That's Sheriff Jaro Pyle right there. Whoops, Joe did that come out? Joe Arpaio? Yep. Joe oh, Arpaio. Oh, Whoops. Okay. Whoops. 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 Name dropping here? Uh-oh. So, that's the news I have for today. What'd you think? Did you like the news? Hey, it was pretty awesome. You know, Blockbuster up in Oregon. Lady yep. flipping the bird. Flying the bird. And, farting you know, on people. Be- becoming a uh, free speech uh activist and yep. might make some money out of it hey that that, that feels good man hey none yeah um, they even she even went as far as to be approved to suit civilly sue for false imprisonment hmm. so that cop's gonna be in a whole world of trouble yeah it's funny 
false imprisonment. Speaking of Joe Arpaio, back in the day when they were doing that, you know, <laughs> rounding up Latinos, I, I was always in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I've always I always thought it'd be cool to get if I ever got pulled over just to do the whole no habla, no habla until I go right. to jail. Then once hey. they got once I got there, it's like, all right, I want my phone call. <laughs> Hello, Johnny motherfucking Cochran. That's yeah. right. Come on. Hey. My rights have been violated. I am the been glove did not violated. fit. That's right. The glove I know didn't wh- fit. <laughs> I was hoping the cop would arrest me when he arrested me or tried to talk to me about it. Oh, I was hoping he would arrest me. Oh, that one time when you, you, you were driving a Saturn at the time, weren't you? Yep. And yep. Wearing Silver a flannel. Saturn. Yep. And wearing a flannel. And it was what, summertime when you've been out, so... Summer, summertime. So you had like that tan going on. Oh right? yeah, oh yeah. I, t- I tan really dark one during the summer. I mean, it's no, you know, nothing I can do or not do. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And I got pulled over, and he started questioning me about my ethnicity. I remember you getting to work all this stuff. That motherfucker <laughs> treated me like a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, welcome to my world, motherfucker. <laughs> That's right. I live here, motherfucker. You're just visiting. Uh, Damn it. Damn it. Oh, gosh. I was kind of uh, hoping he'd arrest me, though. That would have been cool. Well, you'd probably be a little bit more financially fluent. Right fell now. off right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Suing motherfucker these days. Hey. Talking about well off. Talking about having a shitload of money. Hmm. Have you been watching Umbrella Academy? I know life, that thing. That was fucking awesome. I mean, I I got hooked right from the beginning. See, I didn't get hooked from the beginning. Oh, and, and for everyone listening, there will be spoilers. Go fuck yourself. It's been out for a long time. You should have watched it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, turn the radio off because we are we will be talking spoilers. Warning right. has been given. Yeah. So, anyways, I didn't get into it right away. I watched one or two episodes, maybe even three, and it wasn't until the end of the third that I started getting into it. Hmm. Okay. So. But then once it was like, it was kind of like, I'm just a fish swimming around. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, look at the, look at this worm. What is this yeah. worm doing here underwater? And all of a sudden, jump. Hooked. Now I'm hooked. Hooked. Take going along for the ride. They're taking me wherever they want to take me. But loved it. Loved it. So I got doing some research into the show before we get into talking about the show itself. I got, I did a little research into the characters. Sorry. So a couple of them have done some pretty decent things before they came to this. And a couple other, uh, other of them, it was their first big break. Can you believe that? Oh, okay. So we got, uh, let's go with Klaus, Robert Sheenan. He did two movies, two pretty decent sized movies. Uh, they didn't fare so well at the box office, but they were still pretty good. Mortal Engines and Mortal in- Instruments, two different movies. Um, and then we got Diego. All right. Yeah. David Castaneda. He okay. was, uh, he had a role in Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Okay. With uh, Vinicio Del Toro. Del Toro, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All now, right. that uh, Klaus guy, yeah, oh, okay, that's, uh, I, I just remember, that's the guy that I've been telling you, that if they ever did a reboot of Pirates, and they Bingo. casted him as Jack Sparrow, I would have no problem with that. Oh, my God, they need to bring him in as Jack Sparrow's son. Or uh, or a young, if they're doing like a, whatever, uh, a you know, prequel. Young, a prequel, young Jack Sparrow. God, either of those roles he would be primo for. Jesus fucking Christ, is that a good actor? Yeah, I Holy saw that and I was fuck. thinking. I was like, if they reboot uh, Pirates or they decide to go like a prequel on Jack Sparrow, this kid could pull it off. Uh, that, that's, that, that was my whole thing as I was watching uh, The Umbrella Academy. 
All right, but okay. He's, he's the reason that 